Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The EPT Baitfish is a very functional and versatile saltwater fly pattern. It can be easily tied with or without additional weight. To begin, pick up one of the heavy-duty size 8 short shanked hooks. Get the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Load a bobbin with a spool of white uni thread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the eye and after taking a few wraps rearward, snip off the excess tag. If you want to add weight to the fly, before attaching the tying thread, pick up the coil of solder wire and get hold of the bitter end in the fingertips of your left hand. Start taking wraps with the wire around the hook shank. Six or seven turns are all you need. Then, helicopter the wire to break it off close. Pick up a small amount of super glue and apply it to the hook shank right behind the eye. Then immediately slide the wire wraps forward. The super glue should quickly set, which will allow you to tuck in the wire tail without all the wraps simply rotating around the shank. You can then attach your tying thread and use it to further anchor the wire wraps before snipping off the excess tag. Here, however, we're going to continue tying an EPT bait fish without the weight. From the hank of pearl angel hair, pull off just a small amount and fold it in half, then cut the material at its midpoint. Locate the midpoint of that clump and place it on top of the hook shank at the location of your tying thread. Take two or three wraps to secure the material, then work it down toward you on the near side of the hook. Pull the forward pointing portion of the angel hair back and anchor it on the far side of the hook. Take a few more thread wraps to make sure everything is locked into place. Use your scissors to snip off the angel hair at random lengths, leaving a tail a bit longer than the length of the hook. The more uneven and natural looking, the better. Now, snip three or four strands of crystal flash free from the hank and find their midpoint. Place the midpoint on top of the hook shank above your tying thread and take a few wraps to secure it. Pull the forward pointing portion back on top of the hook shank and continue taking thread wraps to anchor it. Snip a small clump of the brown fluorofiber free from the hank. The snipped off end will most likely be square and even. To give it a more natural look, slide the fibers back and forth and twist them several times. This should make the ends somewhat uneven so they look more natural. The other end of the material, which was already rather uneven, will look that much better. Place the fibers on top of the hook shank so they extend the same length as the pearl angel hair. Take thread wraps to anchor the material to the top of the hook shank, then lift the butt ends up and snip them off at a shallow angle. Flip the remaining clump around and lay the uneven ends on top of the previous clump like so. Once again, take thread wraps to secure the material to the top of the hook shank, then lift the butt ends up and snip them off at a shallow angle. Use wraps of tying thread to further secure and cover up the butt ends of the brown fluorofiber. Locate the silver angel hair and pull off just the smallest of wisps. Find the approximate midpoint of the material and lay it against the near side of the hook. Take thread wraps to secure it to the near side, then pull the forward pointing portion back and over to the far side of the fly and take thread wraps to secure it there. The result should be thin silver lateral lines on either side of the fly. Now is a good time to go in and trim off any overly long fibers at the rear of the fly, while doing your best to keep an uneven, natural look. Pick up a small amount of super glue and use it to coat the thread wraps at the head of the fly. Take wraps of tying thread through the adhesive to completely cover up any dark material below. The adhesive will ensure that nothing can pull free. Get hold of your whip finish tool and use it to do a four or five turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. Spread out the material to give the fly a somewhat wider profile. Pick up another small amount of super glue and apply it to the material on the near side of the fly right behind the thread head. Don't be shy with the super glue here. 
Using a bodkin, pick up one of the 3D eyes and place it on top of the super glue and press down. The pressure should set the adhesive and hold the eye in place. Repeat the same procedure on the far side of the fly. The eyes should be mirror images of each other. Using some head cement, or here Sally Hansen hard as nails, fill in the space between the eyes, then coat all the exposed thread wraps. This will permanently affix the eyes to the fly. Give the tail end of your EPT bait fish a final little trim, then allow the adhesives to thoroughly dry for a couple of hours. You should find both the weighted and unweighted versions of this fly not only extremely effective, but quite easy to cast as well.